don't want to put too much sauce on my next statement, but I do believe every word of what I'm about to tell you guys on this platform. LeBron James' legacy will depend on what happens alongside his new superstar center, Anthony Davis. Over the weekend, the Los Angeles Lakers were at uh, in San Francisco to play the Golden State Warriors in their new arena. Beautiful arena. Golden State had that thing rocking. Looks like it's going to be a success. The Lakers were able to pull off a 22-point win. Anthony Davis was absolutely sensational. I know it was just a preseason game, but Golden State did, for the most part, bring most of their guys out. A couple guys were hurt. Uh, but Anthony Davis had 17 points in the first quarter. He finished with 22 and 10 for the game. He was amazing. The offense went through Anthony Davis just like LeBron James and Frank Vogel said it would. And the Lakers looked unbeatable. They're going to be a tough team to beat. And I know I am a Laker fan, but I'm saying this from an unbiased perspective. That team is going to be tough to beat. That, that's against maybe historically the best three-point shooting team ever. I know they're missing Klay Thompson. They did have D'Angelo Russell. That, that Lakers team looked absolutely amazing. Literally, they controlled the game from the paint in the first half while the starters were playing. Speaking of Anthony Davis, in regards to LeBron's legacy, I think LeBron has had gotten a unique bulk of guys. Let me be clear. I think Dwayne Wade is a normal dude, right? I want to be clear with you guys. I think Dwayne Wade is a normal dude. But for the most part, Dwayne Wade's body could never cooperate with what he wanted to do on the court. Here, I got some things I need to mute. Dwayne Wade's body could never cooperate with what he wanted to do on the basketball court when LeBron got to Miami. The, the Heat had one great year of Wade. I said they had maybe a year and a half of good D-Wade in that last year. Uh, that What was that, 2014 when they lost to the Spurs in a blowout fashion? That series wasn't even close. What was it, five-game series? At that point, Dwayne Wade was an average basketball player at best. An average basketball player who could have great moments. So, Braun got one great year of D-Wade because I don't want to put D-Wade in a pack of guys that I'm about to talk about here. In my humble opinion, LeBron James has had a very quirky list of guys that he either played with or is about to play with, right? Dwayne Wade was, the, to me, the normal guy, but he was injured. Chris Bosh, a little off, a tad bit off. I won't focus on him too much. Kyrie Irving, to me, in my opinion, a little off. That's just my opinion. Kyrie Irving's a little off. He thinks the earth is flat, whatever. Just a little off. I don't give LeBron James as much blame for the Kyrie Irving situation as a lot of other people. Because I think Kyrie Irving, I think day by day, he changed his mind on what he wants out of life. Just my opinion. Kevin Love admittedly has dealt with some mental health issues. So I'm not about to clown, homie, because he had some mental health issues. I commend him for speaking out about it. But if somebody has mental health issues, then... They could be a little off. So we package up those guys that LeBron did play with. And then we think about other guys that LeBron potentially could have played with. Paul George. Remember, a few years ago, the Cleveland Cavaliers, their owner, Dan Gilbert, there was a deal on the table for the Cavs to be had. A three-team trade in which Indiana would have traded Paul George to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kyrie Irving would have been shifting that, in that deal, I believe, to Phoenix, if I'm not mistaken, in a three-team trade. All LeBron had to do was sign off on staying in Cleveland for a couple more years. He didn't want to do that. Paul George could have played with him in L.A. as well. Paul George didn't want to do that. I do think Paul George is a little wacky. That's just my opinion. I think he's a little wacky. I think PG's a little wacky. To me, not a dominant personality. He easily influenced. Just my opinion. Also, we got Kevin Durant out there. Kevin Durant had no problem saying... It's tough to play with LeBron James. It's, he's even went as far as to say the environment around LeBron James is toxic. It's the words out of Kevin Durant's mouth last year, not mine. Well, Durant just left a team that was in the NBA Finals out of the blue. He left OKC in similar fashion. A team that was up 3-1 on their way to the NBA Finals over the team he ended up joining. And then he reportedly didn't get along with teammates there are reports out in the atmosphere about Kevin Durant that he didn't even talk to teammates after the trade deadline. 
He wasn't even talking to Steph Curry, Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, and the Warriors. The only person off the court that he would talk to was Quinn Cook and DeMarcus Cousins. It's a little weird, a little wacky. Reportedly, Kyrie Irving didn't talk to the Cleveland Cavaliers during their last playoff run before he demanded to trade it. Be traded in the playoffs. Kyrie Irving wasn't even talking to his teammates in the playoffs. Outside of games. So we got Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. One guy LeBron did play with. The other guy that LeBron wanted to play with. But he called Kevin Durant's situation toxic. He called KD. He called Bron's situation toxic. And he left the Warriors in very weird fashion. And don't give me that bull crap about because the Warriors... Uh, handle Kevin Durant's injury the wrong way. That's why KD left. Be clear. KD was leaving Golden State that entire year. That's why him and Kyrie Irving was upset every time the media brought it up to them. They knew they was leaving. Now, I don't know if they knew it were they going to the Knicks or the Nets. They knew they were going away from Boston and Golden State respectively. So I just think some of the guys that LeBron has played with or possibly played with, and there were rumors about LeBron James and Kevin Durant teaming up at one point. I just think they've been a little quirky. Fast forward to Anthony Davis. There is nothing quirky about this guy. He's a normal dude. From what I see, he's a normal guy. And if LeBron James pushes Anthony Davis out of that door, there will be no more superstars coming LeBron's way. There will be no more. He'll be 36 next year. In year 18, that'll be it. His legacy will be he's maybe one of the most unselfish guys in NBA history on the court. He'll be one of the leagues leaguer in passes all time. But somehow, some way, he rubs people or the brand of LeBron James rubs, rubs people the wrong way off the court. People, do not forget this. Rich Paul and his client, Anthony Davis, did not sign an extension in Los Angeles. Rich Paul made it clear, no matter if he went to the Knicks, the Clippers, the Lakers, or the Harlem Globetrotters, wherever he was traded to, Anthony Davis wants to be a free agent at this year's end. Anthony Davis is only guaranteed to be in Los Angeles for one year. If he doesn't like it, bye. What it cost me, one year off my career? Hell, I would have been in New Orleans for my last year any damn way. I got a crib out in LA. I ain't got the jersey that I wanted. I wanted to be 23. The league went, Nike wouldn't let me switch out with Braun. So my brand ain't going to take a, a hit. I get to say I play for the Lakers. I get a chance at the championship. If we win it, we win it. If we don't, maybe I move on with my life and go somewhere else. I actually think Anthony Davis wants to go on another team. I'll talk about that in another video. But here's the facts. If LeBron rubs AD the wrong way, if the brand of LeBron rubs people the wrong way, the cryptic tweets, meaning after a loss, he's heading to social media to tweet out shit or Instagram post stuff on his story instead of talking to people like men, like being a man and saying what's on his heart or what's on his mind. If he's cryptic with AD rubs him the wrong way and AD decides to leave, That'll be the third or fourth guy who didn't want to play with LeBron. At some point, we're going to have to start looking at LeBron as potentially a problem. Or what comes with LeBron James, a la what Kevin Durant alluded to, as an issue for guys. You want to say guys ain't mentally strong enough to take, to, to take what comes with LeBron? That's fair. But at some point, LeBron's got to be a part of the narrative that's put in the atmosphere about himself and his brand. LeBron's legacy will be defined around what happens with Anthony Davis. And I'm not necessarily talking about on the court, but how Anthony Davis likes playing with LeBron. If AD walks away from this Lakers team, a, a city that he always wanted to play in, a team that he always wanted to play for, with one of the greatest passers in NBA history, one of the greatest players in NBA history, if he walks away willy-nilly, something went wrong. And that something has to start with LeBron James. LeBron's legacy is dependent on Anthony Davis being happy playing with him. Because in the past, most of the stars, borderline superstars, or superstars, eh, it has not worked out 
in ways we thought it would. You in the sports, we got you. NFL news, I got you. NBA news, NBA highlights, NBA full coverage, feature stories, all that great stuff, I got you. We even got a little bit of Madden and 2K mixed in. Subscribe to this platform, and I got you. More quality content on the way. Subscribe.